Welcome back to the podcast, everyone. I'm Will. I'm joined by my co-host over here, the Grease. Say hello, Grease. What's up, everybody? We have got an OG. Yeah. Tonight. Yeah. Will. We're talking the legendary Samuel Dixon Deadman has gone on a new venture. It's ta- It's called 2XO, Will. That's right. Which means two times the oak. The man, the myth, the legend, Dixon Deadman. How are you, buddy? I, like, normally, I don't hear my first name unless I'm in a whole lot of trouble. Like, I got You are in trouble, by the way. Oh, dude, I... I, Yeah. Sometimes when I... When I heard Samuel Dixon Deadman... You're like, Dad? That's scary stuff. You, I, I feel like this is part two of uh, an episode that we recorded with you some time ago. Um, uh, the first time we'd recorded with you, like on video, you know, across the internet. And uh, Grease and I were taking bets on the over under if you've had more or less drinks before this recording than you did the last time. Um, and I, I think you're probably, probably at over. Less, less. I think actually. No, 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 definitely less. I, the the last one I was really nervous about. Oh um, yeah, because we were we were, we were kind of we were we, that, that was we were talking about some some things uh, that needed some some shade thrown at it. Some things that needed to be some things, said. Some, some, yeah, some things that needed saying. <laughs> um, so for those that are watching Dixon that don't know our history together we've known each other for a while we've done some really cool events at the beaumont inn uh that dixon dixon's family it's still in the family but he used to personally run the inn um he was also uh the master blender for a brand called kentucky out up until the bourbon batch number 10 um we want to make sure that batch that 11 yeah is not dixon um and all the and all the Shamrock Sevens and the Ruby Reds and all that other stuff. Dixon didn't do that, so I just Shamrock <laughs> Sevens. It's my favorite casino game. I wish Dixon did have a part in. Dude, Shamrock you remember Sevens. that's my favorite. Casino. I know. Yes, Cherokee. Dude, maybe. he. Oh my gosh, Will knows more about me than I remember about myself. Uh, y'all are so daggone cute. No, I I did. I alluded to this. I. I want to pop. The- this has been a long time coming. We can get into this, but please, for the love of God, open that thing up. All right, um, we're going to do this as awkwardly as possible. I want possible. audio with the cork pop because yeah. we're going to do it as awkwardly as possible because we love you so much. So I'm going to take the foil off and I'm going to hold the microphone. I'm going to let Grease pull the cork as I hold the bottle. Okay, so I do want to get into yeah. like this is release day, by the way. Like it's November first, national release. And this is a big deal. We're very excited for you. I want to talk a little bit more about kind of what your schedule's like and what you're doing, what you're excited about. But first, oh, that was good. America, or should I say Kentucky? Oh yeah, let's have that. Let's have that awkward moment there. Um, that was great. Yeah. So I um. So tell yeah. us. I mean, what? When you pull out a bottle of 2XO and you're on your front porch, okay, and it's not a new release, it's just, you know, you're hanging with some some buddies. What are you going to tell what are you going to tell them about this whiskey? Like what does this whiskey mean for you? What are the characters about it that you fell in love with? Why is this Phoenix release batch number 1 from from your new brand? Well, you know, like I there's about four answers to that question that I'd, you know, I'd love to give you, but truth be told, um, 2XO and the concept of 2XO is something that I, I created and I, you know, cultivated out of, um, a situation where I, I felt like I lost the ability to be the creator, to be the innovator, to be the director of, of what I wanted to do and, and things that I think, you know, people enjoyed. And, and so when I created this concept of 2XO and 2XO two times oak means that, you know, 
in every release, there's some element of double barreling, double oaking, you know, secondary oak exposure. Um, yeah, you've always been like, and, and then, don't just throw your label on somebody else's product. You've you've always taken it. You've either you know double barrel, hundred percent. Like yeah. I mean, I have always said, you know, I I'm, I'm not going to take some product, put it in a bottle, and say it's mine. I want to. I want to play with maturation. I want to play with development. I want to create. And and really what I, what I always enjoy doing is, you know, creating all of these different barrels with different flavor profiles that sets me up in a situation where I can, you know, blend and, 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 and work with different elements to, to create something. And, you know, when I got to the point where I was ready to do this after, you know, playing with these different distillates and, and double barreling and all this stuff, I, I really, I, I just found this place with, with this Phoenix plan. I was just so happy. I mean, it just, it, it, it was such a great, like, to me, it's like a sneaky, it's, it's sneaky. Like it's, it's sneaky, drinkable, it's 104 proof. There's complexity. It's big, but there's sweetness from the fr- on the front. Mm-hmm. It moves the spice on the back. It's not overpowering. It's not. It's not like oh wow, this is super huge. Like you can, you kind of, you kind of take a sip, and it makes you want to have a little bit more, and you want to have a little bit more. There's, um, you know, like you you. I feel like every time I, I, I taste it, I find something a little bit different or, or some like there's nuance to it. It's not, you need Natalie to tell you what's in it. Well, I, you know, we've had this conversation a million times. Like I, I'm not, I'm not the guy. If you're looking for a guy that's going to say toasted sassafras, like fluff, I'm, fluff I'm not pumps. your guy. You ever had fluff pumps? I can tell pumps? you. You don't want to. And and I feel like that's kind of a weird thing you got to pay for somewhere. But like, I. Public's kind of a bogo. I I feel like there's, you know, there's, there's complexity to this. Um, There's great viscosity to it. Like it's got this great mouthfeel and y'all just open it. Like you need to give it, give it a, you know, a couple minutes. And I haven't tried it yet, but we'll dove in without doing a cheers. Are you serious right now? We just oh, cracked okay. the first oh, here, bottle cheers of two XO. Dixon, congratulations, buddy. So let's, let's just let's just see what's what's Dixon, going on. Dixon, compared here. to I feel like on the nose, I know what Dixon likes. Compared to the um, the the boldness of the Kentucky Owl releases that were very big bourbons, very very big. Um, yeah. The when. First of all, the the flavor and the sweetness. I don't know. It's a completely different profile than I was expecting from you, um, because it is more subtle, sweeter. It's not as like punch you in the mouth. And so, I guess my first question mm-hmm. is: Is that is the hundred and four proof? Did you proof down the blend to find the sweet spot, or is it hundred and four proof cask blend strength? No, no, I, I definitely proofed it down, yeah. but I, I proofed it all the way down from 113. Okay. So, it, you know, when I put this blend together, it, it was, my test blends were 113.2. When I actually dumped the barrels, it was right at 113. Um, and I think, once again, we've talked about it, like, I, you know, I don't, I just make things that I like. Mm-hmm. And... The reality is, like, I, and my tastes have changed. You know, like, I, I, I was, I don't, I don't want to say I don't like those, but the the whiskeys I made before the hundred and twenty, you know, like, that's just, I, I don't know. I, I find myself gravitating towards something um, with a little less octane, yeah, anymore, if that, for lack of a better term. Um, and I wanted to make like this, I, I, this series, like I really wanted to, to create something that, um, I don't mean to say is a little more drinkable, but is a little more approachable. Yeah. Um, 
that that's I, I don't know my 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 sweet spot was that high teens low twenties before and and kind of I find myself gravitating to things that are a little a little lower now and and this you know this is this is just this is where I found I put, again I put it together at one thirteen it was phenomenal it, it carried. To me, it carried too much spice. It, it the at one thirteen, the spice counterbalanced the sweetness. And then when I got it down a little bit, um, you know, you could it was more recognizable on the on the front of the palate. It was more recognizable. the The sweeter notes were more recognizable, and and it was a good it was a good transition from sweet to spice. Right. Yeah, I mean, I definitely is pop rocks the, a note. The nose to me is so uh, floral and sweet, but with a almost a fall spice to it. Uh, but then, like you said, because it's the approachability, uh, I feel like is going to you don't have to psych yourself up for this as far as the proof. <clears throat> it's it is approachable, but it's a whole mouth feel experience. It's. It it doesn't taste cut. It doesn't taste thin. It, it's it's a robust flavor profile, and it hits every facet of of the palate. I feel like, um, but that's it is a, a it is so like not, not delicate, but the the flavors and the sweetness is I I, I know the word clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a good way to say it. Like I have a clean. It's, it's like a clean well-balanced finish and i swear on my life as soon as it hit my tongue it was like freaking pop rocks and that's a note yeah no you I, can put that on tater.com or whatever it is i don't think that's a site tater haters or something i don't know i don't something. think that's a thing i mean there's something out there if they don't have those names they're dumb well that's probably that is true you what sam 27.9 what's your they, what's your if, fa- they, if they don't if they don't have them what's your favorite thing about this oh I, you know that it's you know that me, it's bottled. Like, I, I didn't ask you, Grease. Uh, well, I mean, I, because I mean, you've been just, you, you've been making the rounds. You've been touring. You've been able to talk it up a lot. When you go to Houston, when you go to Chicago, where you currently are sitting, when you go to Minnesota, what do you find yourself talking up the most about it? When you're telling people about it and what you get excited about. I think that, and 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 that's Dixon. Let me put it in your in in words that you can question, understand. But I don't know, no, 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 no. You got it? No, 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 no. I'm trying to like figure out how to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, okay, like, okay. I'm, I'm trying because he's trying to not sound pretentious when he says, "I like tough. it because it's perfect." <laughs> yeah, I mean, when do you not put a perfect whiskey out there? No, I don't think that. I I just like this bottle. Like I, I I'll tell you. Sometimes when I've been at home and like my wife's asleep, my kids are asleep and like sometimes I'll, I'll pour myself a little bit of this and like, I'm just very, I'm very grateful. Like I'm very thankful. I'm very appreciative of this opportunity. Like, you know, it's, it's one of those things like I, I just, I, I I do love I, I I love this whiskey. Like I absolutely love this bourbon that that I created, that we created. But I I I'm sometimes kind of in shock and, and sometimes um you know it, it it's not lost on me. Like I, I got this second opportunity to do um, you know, something that I love and, and something that I'm very passionate about. And, you know, so like, yeah. of course I could say something super lame, like, yeah, I love the finish of this whiskey or I love the mouth, you know, whatever. But I, I don't know, this is, this is one. And there are a couple that I made previously that will stay with me. And and this is one, like, this is one I will always, I, I got, I tell you, I, I got this, um, 
it's kind of complicated, but like I, I actually pulled cases off the line mm-hmm. uh, when we were bottling this so that I could take them on these market visits before they, you know, went out. And so I pulled them off the line. I went to my, we went, my wife and kids, we went to my parents' house for dinner. And I sat down with my dad and I was like, dad, I got, I've got something for you. And I went out and I brought one of these bottles in and I poured it for him. And I was telling him about like this series. So, and I'll, you know, we can elaborate on it later, but this, we're calling this the, the icon series. So instead of batch one, batch two, batch three, you know, each, each one will have its own symbol, its own story and, and its own icon on the front. So the second one, this is the Phoenix. The second one is going to be called the innkeepers blend. Oh, um, to kind of pay tribute <laughs> to. All I want to do is and sit then, in that rocking chair, man, and let, and hear you play. We three Kings on the piano. That's all I want. Yeah. And then like the third one, uh, I think is going to have my family crest on the front of it. And, um, is that a goat? You know, I was telling my dad about this. So that's enough of the goat talk. But I was, I was telling my, and, and my dad, you know, my dad just tears up. Like he's just tearing up. He's crying at the at the table. And and he was like, I, you know, my, and my dad says, I'm just, I'm just so damn proud of you, you know, and and like. I don't know. What do I like about this one? I, that. Your dad's you know, proud. It, that. Dad gone. The hearing hearing that story and and one I, you said that you're grateful because you've had you've had uh, awesome opportunities and but the uh, the parallels to me of the story you've talked about when you had that first Kentucky Owl blend with the Cruzan bottle. Um and then now this is a a different company, different project, different face. Uh, but it is, there's a lot of parallels to me about sharing that blend with your dad, uh, from the, the Cruzan bottle and, and, um, then now this one was started from completely the ground level, this one starting from the ground level, but with more clout, more connections, more, uh, inventory, than you necessarily had there. Um, does it feel like the, does it feel like the first time Dixon or, uh, or is there something different about this experience now that you, uh, now that you've got your, obviously your, your experience behind you? I think, you know, I think you, you know, I've, I've learned a lot. I've learned from my mistakes and, and I've, um, I'm probably some of the things that I would have done previously, I would do differently now. Um, but you know, what's, what's very similar is being back in a situation where you know, I am the creator, like I have, and that's, that's what I, you know, maybe, maybe I'm saying I'm not a good team player. I I don't know. Um, but you know, it's, it's, I think that's where things kind of got a little bit off track before is that, you know, I don't mean to say too many cooks in the kitchen, but you know, I'm, I, I like, I like the idea that if, if it's my name on the bottle, if it's my, you know, I, I like that, uh, you're controlling the, that direction. And there's a certain amount of, uh, pride I have in, 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 in that. And, and, you know, I, 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 you're right. You're, you know, and, and obviously, for good or bad, you've listened to the nonsense I've spewed for years, but you know, like, I I mean, if you know that story and that story about, you know, that Christian rum bottle with my dad and, and, you know, you know, that, that meant to me and it's very similar, you know, it was a very similar situation when, um, 
you know, I sat down with him two, three weeks ago. You know, I mean, I, I'm, it, 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 it's really, it's, re, it's really cool to, to build these things and, and, and create these things and, and have this vision and develop this stuff. But at the end of the day, like, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. It's still very, it's very personal for me. Like, it's very, like, I, I want the people that are really important to me to think what we're doing is cool. If that, yeah, uh, makes anything. I mean, I think what you're doing is cool. Ask him about the what the icon series is is going to be. What do you mean? It's going to be no, no. Okay, like, never mind. I thought I was Chris Breeze up to move. So you you said it's that a Phoenix. It's, it's going to be a series. Is there a shark on it? No, is but a shark coming? <laughs> is the you you said it is going to be a series instead of we batches. might need to do a shark. Is the two XO well? brand and, so, and the series you know, is the it thing, like, is it open-ended or is it like this concept of the icon series is going to be this run seven blends whatever or is it kind of this is the this is the way that 2xo is no, no, no. is placed the, the whole program is you know we, we've got the whole program lined out so the the middle portion of the uh, of the program is this icon series and it will be uh, a spring and fall release every year mm -hmm. uh, these individual unique blends with different flavor profiles and and you know the only thing that will change on that bottle is that that icon in the middle you know and, and that icon icon will reference you know kind of the name and the story it's of like the dash blend. in the middle on the on your tombstone. on your tombstone yep yeah, the only thing that yeah. matters the is middle. that ash. Yeah, you yeah. just change up that middle, man. You can be whatever you want to be. You can be a daggum phoenix. The the like the top piece of the pyramid that we'll do every summer. It may bleed into fall. Will be what we call the Gem of Kentucky series. There'll be um, single barrels. It's um, been working on this for a year and a half. It's an all black bottle um, with a kind of matte black gem on the front it, it will all be double barreled high rye <clears throat> distillate that will go into those um we'll do somewhere between 65 and 75 single barrels a year and then the the lower portion of the pyramid is called the oak series and that will be you know all obviously all double oak uh liquid we're going to start with a, 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 a heavy char American oak um, and then going to – I'm testing French oak, Mizaner oak, cognac finished oak, tequila finished oak, um, sherry finished oak. Um, what else are we testing? Hungarian oak. I didn't even know that was a thing, but that's a thing. We're testing all this. And so that will be our um, kind of baseline – uh product that that will be in the pyramid so all of all three of those there'll be two of the icon series released in 23 there'll be the gym of kentucky series released in 23 the single barrels and then late 23 will be the the oak series that will will roll out the uh, one yeah you the go pyramid for. idea was dixon's Oh well, no. Grease Previously, is, Grease has always been into pyramid schemes. So as soon as you started uh, look, talking about that, he was like, to "Avon to to two XO, I'm in." <laughs> I mean, if every person gets two <laughs> times the people, I just, I, I just <laughs> two times of the people, and then you're in your downline, I, right. you make two times the money. Yeah, like you send two bottles, yeah. and you get back twenty. Dude, yeah. it's incredible. <laughs> Just, I've heard pyramids are, you know, whiskey people understand pyramids. So that's why, yeah. I, yeah. you know, I, I, I say that. I got it. Yeah. Um, my question is uh, the one that everyone wants to know is uh, price and availability of these. Oh. Because um, one, it tastes like a thousand dollar bottle. I know that, you, you know, you're, you, you're into that. You, you've done it before the thousand dollar bottle. So, I mean, uh, so we, 
that that is the big question. It, availability is it national release? Uh, this is the national release day, November first. But is it uh, is it something people are going to be able to find? Scarcity and uh, what what's the SRP that you're looking Be for? Before you say that, can you tell just so people <laughs> know, like what you've always been pretty transparent about, like the age and stuff that's in it. Like, do you have that information? Are you able to share that, like, with people so that? They kind of hear the full story and then whatever the price is, because I have no idea. This could be twenty. Wouldn't it be funny if I was like, yeah, I, 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 if I was like, yeah, I don't have that information. Like, you know. <laughs> well, I know, I know you've got Literally. it. I don't, I don't know if there's like, you know, some little little thing on your shoulder, like, no, Dexon, you can't do that. In the name of PR, you cannot do that. That that's. That has never stopped me before. Yeah, your your PR is, folks. My, yeah, my, so, Dixon, did you love that I did the courtesy email to your PR folks saying, hey, any points you want us to hit? And his response is, we learned a long time ago not to give Dixon <laughs> talking points because he's not going to take them. So Dave, Dave, Dave sends me a text. He was like, hey, they're asking about. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's because we've never i've never included pr people on this before so they don't know what to do but don't worry about it it's, that was a, cool. that was it's a courtesy, courtesy to him but i knew there was no way in hell that you were sticking to any sort of talking points no no I, like, all right what's in it um, Nixon? so yeah so 2300 flavors it flies in your tongue like I'm a gonna phoenix answer, on fire i'm gonna your questions in the order you gave them to me um and it's you know what is funny and and what's what's kind of cool is that like going around and pouring this for people and they're like okay so so tell me <laughs> <laughs> like what's what, i'm gonna say oak the, influence is good price as you know, like I used to tell people all the time I was like my my business card says master blender not master pricer yeah right i mean that was because what i was doing before it kind of got squirrely or whatever but phoenix blend srp 99.99 um under 100 bucks right around 100 bucks um you know we do have um as with anything like we've we've got i have an additional cost in this and and that's because when when you talk about the makeup of this blend there is a portion of this that is a low rye bourbon mash bill um in that 16 to 18 percent rye content it's about five and a half years old um the balance of the liquid in this blend uh comes from a proprietary custom mash bill it's 26 percent rye mm. um i took that rye at or that, that that bourbon i'm sorry with the high rye mash bill um when it was a little past six years old and i dumped several lots of that and introduce them to new chart oak containers a second time and i put them in both char three and char four containers uh age that for it was almost almost a year 11 11 months a little plus 11 months plus um so you have four components this blend you have the low rye five and a half year old stuff um the high rye from the original cask and then the high rod double barreled in char three and char four containers so those are the those are the four components S somewhere around 60 percent of of what's in that bottle is double barreled um you know liquid either three or four char um and so like the average that almost you doubles your cost of out, production <laughs> yeah yeah it's there's a cost involved right. but um but it makes you know it, it, it that that's just my jam like yeah. i just love playing with that i love putting the stuff in new new barrels playing putting it in different locations seeing what it does um i've already told you you can store as many barrels here that you want i mean i won't even yeah, charge well, i won't even charge you I, I think 
I think we we can work that uh, out offline, but I think that's a great opportunity. I I would really appreciate that. It's very kind of you. It's perfection. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I, I do love that. I love that the, but I, I, so here's the thing I think yeah. that y'all will, when I walked away from what I was doing previously, I, I, I created this concept of two XO. I created this, you know, in my mind, like I had it in my mind, what I wanted it to be. I, I wanted to, have a certain level of modernity to the label. I, I, I didn't, you know, I played, you know, we did the heritage thing for a long time. We told a story about what happened in 1876 and, you know, whatever. And, and, and all these brands are coming out and they're telling a story about, you know, some, some mule that hauled a wagon full of slop up a hill and, and, you know, in, in, in the bygone era or whatever. Um, and which is, which is great, which is, which is super cool. But I, so I created this concept and there were some guys, um, that were Diageo guys and came to Stoli and left Stoli and, and they, they created an, an agency, um, and they were willing to like help me and 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 assist me and what I needed to do to get this this new concept off the ground. And I think you'll all find this interesting. Like I, you know, right out of the gate, like there was all of this crazy private equity money coming at me. Like people will, you know, everybody wants to get in this business right now. We'll write you this check. You know, how how much money do you need? The two problems with that were one, they wanted to know how fast we could build this brand so that they could sell it for a lot more money. And that just felt really disingenuous to me. You know what I mean? Like that just like, okay, let me let me take these guys' money and and we'll we'll do something and hopefully make it really cool. But then you know, I, then I go into partnership with the highest bidder and that, that didn't, I, I don't know. That, that's just not me. Yeah. The second thing with, with that situation was they stroke you a check, but then you're, you're relying on the market for your, for your liquid. Like you, you know, I mean, I, I what, what's out there, what's available. There's nothing. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm buying three year old stuff and trying to turn it into, you know, to, to something special. And, and that's hard. Like, that's really hard. And that's hard to build, build a brand and build a program with. And, and so, you know, I was, I was incredibly fortunate, like beyond fortunate to, connect with a group who had the foresight um, seven plus years ago to start laying down barrels. Mm. Uh, they, and they really didn't have a plan with what they wanted to do with the barrels. They just, they were just laying stuff down and then had access to other, other barrels. And they said, Hey man, you know, can you, we've got this stuff. Would you, would you help us figure out what to do with it? And I said, I can, I'm certainly willing to play in a, you know, play an advisory role, but here's a concept I'm working on. Uh, here's what I'd like to do. And they said, Oh yeah. Like, how do we, can we do that? And yeah. I was like, yeah. And, and basically the way it worked out was, you know, they, they gave me the, I, they just gave me the keys to this liquid and, you know, and, and they've got, you know, we have a marketing team behind us, a district distribution team behind us. So I, you know, I, I don't, I don't have to do those things that I don't know how to do. I just have to do the things that I know how to do. 
and I have access to this amazing, amazing liquid. So it was, it was just, you know, I, it, it was just perfect. I, I was uh, it just, it, it all came together in such a way at a time when you know, I was trying to figure out what was going on. The, the end was, we were doing one thing with the end. I was doing consulting and consulting is fine, except you're just putting out other people's fires all the time yeah. instead of like doing what mm-hmm. you really want to do. I feel like consulting is uh, getting you to just fix a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, and and this all like this which all, is like your job at the end. come together your job yeah, at the end was like it's very much like my job at the end. <laughs> yeah that's all i did i was a fireman that's what i told people all the time i was a fireman i just put out fires but you know it th- this is good this is fun um i'm i am incredibly proud of you know what's in in this bottle um you know, I'm excited to eventually when I get home, you know, start, start working on the next one. Um, when I tasted this Dixon, I said, I really hope this is a hundred dollars. I was hoping it wasn't like one fifty or 200. I was literally hoping it was a hundred bucks. I mean, we still would have probably bought a case at 200, but we would have, we're, we're big fans of you, obviously Dixon, but no, this is, this is a great product at a great price. It, I don't it back to that question though. Is um, I know not like specific yield, but is it going to see uh, a, a decent distribution um, with this first release? Because obviously yeah, it's, a, so it's a brand new start. It's this, this is, I think, I think it's in like 17 or 18 States, something like that. Mm-hmm. So, but some of those states, like the the allocation is tiny, sure. like like very 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 small. I mean, it's it's all the big ones that you would expect: Kentucky, Texas, Florida, Illinois, New York, California. Um, but yeah, the southeast is well well covered. Um, Tennessee, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. Um, and then my partners have a, you know, a, a, a presence in the, in the Midwest. So we've got some, some Midwest stuff, Indiana, um, Ohio, Nebraska, Wisconsin. Um, it, it's good. And, and by the time we get to that Oak series, which is, you know, the, the you know, the, the bigger play, it, it'll be. 50 state distribution. Great. Is there a timeline on, on the other tiers of the pyramid? Yeah. So, so I'll do the next series, uh, or the next version of this icon series, the innkeepers blend, um, that will be a March, March, April release. Um, those single barrels will be, I think July. And then we'll do the third installment of that icon series sometime around September. And then that Oak series, which is the, the lower tier, um, is, is like October is, is the, the timeline. In the single barrel, uh, series, is that, uh, for, uh, on-premise accounts and, and liquor stores, or is it uh, single barrels you're selecting and releasing? No, I will select them. We will release them um, both on and off premise. Uh, the goal is to kind of work out all the um, logistical things that come with doing a single barrel for the 23 release. And then the idea is to increase that volume from somewhere between 65 and 70 to 85 to 100 in 2024 with a barrel selection program. Uh, we'll do somewhere between 15 and 20 private barrels and the rest of them will just go straight out to market. Awesome. I love it. What's the, what for our listeners and watchers? 
when the single barrel is, is that the Jim Jim Righteous Gemstone Jim Kentu- release? <laughs> righteous Jim of Kentucky. Righteous Jim Jim of Kentucky. Right, righteous Jim of Kentucky. Yeah. So you know how uh, how do are we, do we put righteous in there? Yeah. So how are how are those gonna how are those gonna work? Like how how can me how can our listeners obtain those? Is that gonna be heavy in Kentucky? Is it gonna be? Can you see that? That's pretty cool. Oh, oh God. is that matte black? I can't even tell from here. Yeah. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can yeah. see it. No, it's, the, like the it's not suitable for work. <laughs> <laughs> it's. Uh, what are you talking about? Are you talking about how's that going to work? Like distribution? Or yeah, like how? how like how? How's how are we gonna? How are we gonna get? A chance to get a bottle of a single barrel. Dixon, we, single we used we used on and off premise, and he doesn't understand those words. So it's okay. They're well, going to accounts at liquor stores and accounts that are are bars and, and restaurants. Oh, okay, I thought on premise was like at his home or the distillery <laughs> or something, and then off premise, it's just out there. And I don't know it. what it's, out there means. It's called a scavenger hunt. <laughs> Yeah, all premises. The okay, mystery. so tell me. So, so it's going to be in retails. Yeah. Okay, that's how, what I gathered. From that. Okay, how are you going? How are you going to? to there's only, there's probably only like 150 bottles of stuff. No, they're doing 70 barrels. No, we're doing like. I thought you were doing individual barrels. It's, he said single barrel. Right. 70 of them. Right. In the summer. I know, but what if I want 70 of them? 70 barrels? What if I want 70 bottles? Do you know how like a, one of each barrel? So have you ever been to a liquor store? I mean, just like a hypothetical. You go into a liquor store and there's a um a bottle on the shelf that's a brand and it says like single barrel on it. Right. Yeah. So like you can buy that. And the whiskey in that bottle, it came from one barrel. Well, I'm thinking about And so what this is going to be Correct me if I'm wrong, Dixon, is going to be um, a bottle of whiskey that you can buy at a retail store that came from a one single barrel in each bottle. <laughs> Dixon, in, when, when you were a part of Kentucky Owl, batch three, four, and five were all single barrels, okay? I need to know that I don't miss out on freaking Kentucky Owl batch three, four, and five. Well, those were... I understand what you're asking, but also it's the same but different. Okay, so are they going to be are they going to be labeled in any other way so we know which bottles what barrel? Because one of the barrels is going to be you're going to put the barrel number. <laughs> yeah, kind of kind of like when you if you go into like a store, you know, there's like a bottle that has like a horse on it on top, and it's kind of right. like an orb. Yeah, and it and normally put says information like, on it. Normally says like the barrel number on it. Right. Typically. I like you've you purchased. You tell me, a- Dixon, does it say the barrel number on it? It does. <laughs> and we're gonna put the barrel number on our Okay, so is Tennessee gonna see it, it's not gonna see all seventy of them. I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's that all, what I'm saying. No, is no. Get, are we getting a case of each of them? You don't know. And and Dixon on his business card it doesn't say master distributor. It does say master blender on it though. But that was his self given name. My profile, I think on Instagram or Facebook or something, one of them says Master Blender. I'm pretty sure it's your Facebook profile. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. That's actually a joke. It is, but I like it. (laughs) I mean, not many people can say that they blended with Dixon Dadman, and I did. I'm a master. All right. We lost. We didn't lose. Oh no, that was that was the blend that, that was, you and I were yeah, a part that, that, of. That, at, I'm not talking about that. Whiskey I'm talking about old DZ. Oh, okay. I've gotten better feedback though. Oh okay. Once, oh no, yeah, we were we were we were, we were a team. We were a team. Yeah. Once I got better feedback on those. Uh, How many of those on <laughs> our blend? <laughs> Dix has been throwing that two X on this whole time. Yeah. He's just it, in between every um. He's just, <laughs> um. Um. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. All right. We love you, Dixon. We've got a huge history with you, and you're always, you know, we've always been huge fans, and um, and I I hope to say more than acquaintances, um, 
but yeah, I mean, we can talk about the whiskey more. I'm not, I'm not diving in here and getting all wishy washy because I'm ready for this to end. I'm just saying we're proud. I'm proud of you. I'm sure will is too, but I don't like talking for him because he usually gets mad when I do. I am very proud of you, Dixon. And I'm glad to know you. And I'm glad to drink your whiskey because it's real good. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I'm going to get wishy washy here. Oh, God. Um, but God. mute them. We were em. talking about, yeah, just put me on mute. I, I, I don't know, man. I, you know, doing this, and sometimes I, I think, Sometimes I think I'm, you know, I, I just, I, I, I recognize how special this is and, and I'm, I'm very thankful of the, you know, the opportunity and, and, and the privilege to do this. And then I think about, you know, what, I don't know, all the nonsense and goofy stuff we've done and, and I don't know you, you guys have just been better to me than than I deserve and and I I, I, I cannot and, and your team and the people that follow you and, and everybody that I've met through you all I, I it's just I mean it's a blessing it, it's a it's it's truly a blessing and and it's a privilege and I, I just I can't thank you enough, and the support that y'all have shown me, and and all of my nonsense y'all have put up with, and and whatever. It's just I'm I'm very thankful uh, to the both of you. Grateful. I love what you've done. I love what you're doing. I think y'all are. Um, I you just I think y'all. I don't know, you, you give a lot of people a lot of joy and, and to be able to sometimes come on and be a part of that means a lot to me. Um, and so, you know, when we were talking about who do you want to, you know, get with for, who do you want to talk to first? Who, you know, I was like, I, I want to, I want to connect with these guys. Um, these are the, these guys have supported me for a long time. And, um, so I'm, I'm very thankful for for both of you and 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 what y'all do. Well, Dixon, thank you for the kind words and thank you once again for the whiskey. Yeah, man. Thank you for uh, yeah for taking your time out. I know you are on the road, and it does mean a lot to us that you would take some time to sit around and 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 tell us a little bit about it and tell our people about it. Yeah, we know that they appreciate it as well. Yeah, um, I'd circle back and say Dixon's been really good. To us. Y- yes, yeah. <laughs> like, you, you flatter us by saying that we've uh, we've supported you, but you've supported us for a long time as well. So the um, the feeling is mutual. We're we're glad to know you and uh, have you as a friend, and and you have shaped our uh, outlook on whiskey in more ways than you'll probably ever know. Oh, so. a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people. Like you know, a lot of people were just drinking whiskey before they meet Dixon Deadman. Whiskey just means something different after they meet you. That's just a simple fact. So people need to go out and find this. They need to go out and get some two XO. It is. This uh, is every. It's, it's, it's worth everything we want it. It's everything we want it to be. Yeah. So, Dixon and don't forget. It set. It has in, in Vermont an ass on there. In Vermont, you get fifteen cents. If you recycle this, except for don't t- buy it in New York and go to Vermont and recycle oh, that's tax it. fraud. Cause then you go to jail and that's not a good thing. That's an interstate yeah. commerce clause. Yeah. Dixon. Thank you everyone. Go find it. Go find two XO, get you a bottle and uh, tell us what you think about it. We don't know Jack, but we'll drink it. So subbing this line in though, you didn't let me say, I wanted to ask Dixon. So Dixon, where do you see yourself being in 10 years? <laughs> because I feel like every 10 years, this Joker's just, just making fireworks. And this is uh, Dixon in 10 years. All right. I want you to imagine something. Pyramids. Two Phoenixes. Two, oh, double Phoenix. Double Phoenix. Double Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. Double. Okay. Do they have missiles or shotguns? Close range or long range? Just, you have to tell just me. Just freaking talents. Because you can't. Oh. 
Interesting. Melee. Yeah. Okay. So a fast attacker, <laughs> mobile, super versatile, fast, but melee. That's an interesting, that's an interesting layout. We don't know Jack. <laughs> we'll drink it. <laughs> <laughs>